Hey everyone, welcome to Oro Kamono no Koi Manga Chapter 2 Review. So this chapter was 69 pages long, so it took me longer than the last chapter to read, and a lot a lot of stuff happened. Um, we get introduced to Sakura's younger brother, Shuya, I believe his name was, as well as their mother, who happens to be in the hospital for some mysterious illness that was never actually explained. We also learned this girl, uh, Sakura's love interest's name, which is Nozomi, I believe, so that will help out with these reviews a lot because I'll just be able to refer to her, to her as Nozomi instead of just the girl or that girl or whatever, you know. And, you know, throughout the course of this chapter, their love relationship starts to go forward, but... For some reason, Sakura also seems to be attracted to this other girl who is in the hospital for some reason. I think she's like Yuya or something like that. I don't remember for sure. They don't name her very often. But at the end of the chapter, Sakura actually ends up kissing her. So, yeah. Uh, I can sense a love triangle coming on here. Maybe that's just me, but I can definitely sense a love, a love triangle coming on here. Other than that, there was just a lot of scenes that were really dragged out. So I said before, earlier in this in this video that you know a lot of stuff happens. Uh, and that's not necessarily true, considering that you know a lot of scenes are dragged out as per manga anime tends to usually do and whatnot. And I think it's really weird that Sakura ends up kissing another girl at the end of the chapter, either. He's a, either he's a player who doesn't really care about Nozomi at all, which I will, would detest highly, or he's just really confused about his feelings, which would be a, which may be understandable at his age. You never know. Um, that's really, well, maybe a short review, because I really don't think there's anything else I have to say. The characters are a little bit more likable now. In the first chapter, they just seem really bland and generic. In this chapter, that can kind of be said, but they're a little bit more fleshed out, I think. Like, I've always been a fan of the generic romance, cause just because I am a hopeless romantic, sue me. You know, that's why I love Iraqa 7 when I first saw it, and still do. It's because of that, you know. Of course, you know, the mechs in that series. Makes it all worthwhile as well, but that's beside the point. So I guess that's really all I have to say. So if you like this review, please tell me what you liked about it or what you didn't like about it, perhaps in the comments below. And see you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.